So here it is, the 2016 Chateau Ponte Canet Poyac. This is the <laughs> this is the one we've been waiting for here. Uh, so Ponte Canet is a fifth growth Bordeaux in the 1855 classification, but it has been far exceeding its fifth growth status for many, many years now. It's, uh, it's in the northern end of Poyac, and uh, it's actually right across the street from Chateau Mouton Rothschild, which explains the tremendous quality that you know comes about really each and every vintage of this wine. It's so consistent in its quality, its ageability, and a lot of it is just because of <laughs> how they're making the wine, the region, the terroir, everything that comes about from Ponte Canet. So, you know, for starters, uh, you have a really nice gravelly soil in that area. Uh, it's over a uh, clay and limestone base. It's all biodynamic, biodynamic, all organic, certified, eco-cert, you know, Demeter certified. And then what they do in the vineyard is uh, to not compact the soil, they use horses. So there's no tractors. They have a fleet of 12 horses that handle all of the work in the vineyards just to preserve all of that, that beautiful soil that goes on in these vineyards out there. Um, and then oh my God. Uh, what they do uh, in terms of their winemaking and their aging is, is just, it's unprecedented. So they use, you know, French oak barrels. That's not unprecedented, but they usually have about 50% of new oak. Then they use somewhere around 15% of one year, and then they use like 35% of concrete amphorae. So those big concrete vats, dolia they call them, it's like 35%, it, it's, it's amazing. And the reason they do it, they, I spoke with the, the winemakers is, they wanna preserve that freshness, right? Fruit first, vineyard first, coming from the vineyard first, that's super important for them. Um, and then it ages like 16, 18 months in that combination of vessels. So what do you get on the wine? Well, <laughs> the first thing is just, intensity uh the, the the aromas in here right rob are just <laughs> filling up in this room uh it's pure right lots of black currant cassis really like a cream to cassis uh blueberry pie um you know lots of really intense black fruits that are coming through but then you have these beautiful graphite pencil shaving these these mineral notes that are coming out here there's dark cocoa. Um, there's definitely a little bit of vanilla that's coming off from that new oak, a little clove uh, spice coming off. There's floral notes, there's violets, there's crushed mint. Uh, you know, there's just these layers upon layers of, of just aromas coming from mostly the, the fruit first, right? And then some of that, that beautiful winemaking technique. All right, let's taste That's just about the best <laughs> sip of wine I've had in the last five years. Um, just the words are not enough, right? Powerful, uh, elegant, savory. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing combination that it has of being elegant and full of finesse, but, but concentrated and, 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 you know, the tension and the fruit, the length, it just goes on and on, the, the, the depth of this wine. Uh, it, it, it's just fabulous. Um, it's perfect, and that's why it's perfect. You know, this is a hundred point wine, and and that's what a hundred point wine should taste like. It should be, you know, this uh, inspiring uh, and really knocking you off your feet, like like this wine does. It, this is a pup, right? This is such a young wine. You know, it needs minimum probably seven to ten years uh, to really to really touch. And you know, these these wines, these Pontecini wines, they they can age for 40, 50 years now. So um, when you think about what a Mouton Rothschild or some of these other, you know, first growths uh, can cost, you know, four figures for the value, for lack of a better word, that Ponte Canet brings. Um, it's really pretty hard to beat. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Salud.